have planned for five months now to make another YouTube video. And I've even recorded a few. And on cue, there's my air conditioning. <laughs> Proving how unplanned this is, because if I had planned this, I would not be in my bra. I always turn off my air conditioning before I shoot videos. I would have washed my face or something. I'm lying here in my room missing all of you so much missing myself missing the life that I have been cultivating the things that I believed in I keep trying to come back and make another video but I'm really ashamed of where I am right now. The fact that I'm struggling really hard to stay alive and keep breathing. And I didn't come here for understanding or A request for help because um, there's not anything anybody else can do. <laughs> I'm in therapy. I have been with a really good therapist now for over a year. I've tried to think out the things to do and the steps to take and made these big drastic moves trying to make momentum happen. I keep listening to the men. I keep listening to the music. And if you've been here for a long time, then you know that I... I really feel like I did come to a place where I did love myself. But was that a lie? Because it disappeared. Again. Not only am I really struggling to think that I even am capable of loving myself. I don't really believe anyone can convince me right now that I'm lovable. <laughs> and really, I'm, I'm not here to make anybody feel bad or this is not the cry for help that I'm sure somebody thinks that it is. It's just in a moment of honesty when I found the strength to sit up and actually explain why I disappeared. I didn't turn my back on the guys. And I didn't turn my back on you. I turned my back on me. I didn't mean to. There's a few of you. A few of you that I've been open with over the last six months to a year um, in depth as it's unraveled. And for each of you that I've opened up to you. You've been so loving and kind and I'm sorry that I can't tell you what you could do to help fix me. Anyhow, my pause and my silence is not because I don't care about this community. <laughs> And it's not because I don't adore these men. I 
It's because I'm really, really ashamed that, um... That I tried to grow a community of excitement and love and self-love and strength and perseverance and tenacity in the name of Bangtan and I feel like a really huge disappointment to everything that is Bangtan, to everything that is ARMY. And then I can't figure out how to, um, how to turn the tides. It took a lot of work when I turned them in a good direction the first time, but I did it. And then just like that, the tide just turned on me and has carried me. I'm sorry, this is such an unflattering view and a realistic moment here. Like I said, I've actually sat and recorded a few things. It takes a lot of time and energy to then edit them and post them. It also requires space to be able to do so and mental capacity and time in my life to And because of my failings, to balance things. But the worst of it is I'm not succeeding at anything. I feel about that big. And again, none of this is a request for assistance because what what's anyone going to do for me? <laughs> if I if I could think my way out of it, if I could think of what to ask someone I've had a hard time um, functioning today for days. And then I just had this burst of energy. Regret of the times that I've recorded and not posted. Regret for those of you who wonder why I just disappeared and that I've been too coward to come tell you <laughs> that I'm just rather failing and that I don't know how to pick myself back up and also because I started this channel so that if any of you feel this way that you would find somebody to encourage you. That you would find somebody who can keep telling you and keep showing you that you can you can do it. And now I feel like a liar because Anyhow, I do love you, and some of you I know by name, and some of you I only know by idea. And I do believe God loves you, and I do believe BTS loves you. And I know that sucks coming from somebody who 
doesn't believe that they are lovable. Like it doesn't even make sense coming out of my mouth. I hope you forgive me for my absence. And I hope that you're finding love and healing how and where you can. And I hope I'll be back. I hope I'll be back soon. Anyhow, I'm sorry for the silence. The more I've talked in the last year, the more it's gotten me in trouble. So. But I do love you.